because there's no fridge, there's no microwave, there's no nothing in a hotel room. Hello, stranger, spin a hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to get wow okay today i wanted to get on here and tell you guys a little story time about the vegas hotel that i stayed at and why y'all should stay away from this hotel honestly it's vegas hotels in general not just this hotel so i learned my lesson let's get into it i don't know if i want to name this hotel but i want y'all to know which hotel it is but i don't want to get in trouble i'm too cute to get sued i'm too cute to go to jail i'm gonna call the hotel <laughs> I wrote it down so because I wanted to be literally close to the name so y'all know to stay away from it. Do not book with this hotel. So the hotel is called Bolden Bugget Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. Okay, this will be like a story time about the hotel, the shitty hotel, and the shittiest airline I have ever taken. If you guess Frontier, you're right. If you guess Spirit, you were close enough. My Vegas trip with my friend was June 20th and until the 24th. We had like a night flight so we got there at like 9 p.m. You know went through the baggage claim all of that. We did not rent a car or anything. We decided that we we're just gonna you know pay for Ubers and stuff like that and that's just gonna be the vibe. So we got through baggage claim, got our bags, called. Oh first we were hungry and the plan was because the hotel had restaurants inside we're gonna go to one of the restaurants and eat. So when we were arrived we literally called like the hotel well we called the restaurant in the hotel we we're like hey like we pretty much just landed we're wondering if we have we have to um book any reservations or you know if there's any tables available is it like a walk-in and the lady in there was like oh no like come come in you're fine you don't have to book no reservations you are good to go mind you it's around 9 30 9 p.m i would say between like okay let's say 9 15 to like 9 30 it's around that time so she was telling us no reservations are needed come in we have all the seatings all of that you're good to go i was like okay okay that's good our uber came dropped us off at the hotel outside of the hotel it looks cute okay it's a nice little vibe the heat i was not expecting like i know it's vegas it's the desert i was born in cameroon west africa so i thought like the heat i don't know I, the heat it was very hot so if you're planning on going to vegas hmm good luck the heat is very hot but i i had i had a fun time i'm not telling people like don't visit vegas literally the moments that we walked into the hotel i'm talking like through the doors through the little front doors straight we almost got scammed can you imagine hey we almost got scammed hotel was like pretty big to be honest like that and the site that we got dropped off at it wasn't close to where the front desk is so we got dropped off at the site like closer to like the elevators that lead you up to the rooms walk in we see like a you know a little front desk looking situation but it's not the front desk so we approach like this man and this other lady that's like sitting down and we're like hey like we're looking for the front desk is this the front desk where we can check in and the man is like oh no you actually have to you know go around walk all the way past the flamingos and the birds you know giving us directions we turn to leave this man is aggressively like no 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 wait i have a i have something for you guys it's one of you guys at least 20 25 is one of you guys at least 25 ah we're looking at each other like how does that age concern him pretty much like why do you want to know so we're literally asking him and we're trying to leave but he's so aggressive he kept saying it's one of you guys at least 25 i have something for you just wait and i'm thinking okay maybe like this is part of like the hotel we've never been to vegas we don't know what to expect the guy kept saying it's one of you guys at least 25 and we were not answering him we're like why are you asking like why does that matter and he keeps like beating around the bush like he does not tell us he doesn't answer the question and we're just standing there looking at each other like what the hell after asking him like why are you asking like why does it matter this man goes oh Hilton is having this thing where you can win like a free trip you have to purchase like a vacation home like a big old scam mind you my friend had like dealt with something like this before where like i don't even know what category they go into don't ask me oh don't ask me i don't have information so they'll come and they'll try to pressure you to buy vacation homes and pretty much like the whole scam is like they'll get as many people to buy the same vacation home that's never available but they're paying like a mortgage on it 
and they get away with it. And the whole thing with like being 25, my friend was telling me like, oh, you know how like at 25, you're like a full grown adult, you know, your brain has fully developed. That's like another loophole that they tried to avoid. You know, they were trying to manipulate you and force you and be aggressive to buy this vacation home. You know, if you're a full grown adult, if your brain has fully developed, that's another loophole in like, the, you know, the court. And we're like, no, we're okay. And then the lady um, behind the desk was like, oh, you don't like Hilton? No, I don't like Hilton. I'm trying to check into my hotel. They're trying to scam me. What? Anyway, so we finally get away from the clutches of the man and the lady trying to scam us. And we walk towards the front desk. We check in at the front desk. For starters, like the guy that was helping us, he had like issues with like his little, you know, computer stuff. So we had to wait like longer. And then originally we had like a, a suite, like a king bed suite the guy was telling us oh do you guys want like a two queen beds instead and we looked at each other we're like you know that kind of sounds better because you know there's two of us let's both get like our own beds so we're like okay and he was like you know the view doesn't change you know nothing changes about it except there's two beds it's still like pretty much the same size it's still a suite all that stuff we're like okay cool 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 let's do it he gets that change for us and then he hands us like the the room card he tells us like our room is located on the 14th floor and then our room was room like 103 he literally like specifies like, ignore the 14th floor like you know go up to the 14th floor but you're only looking for room 103 that's what he specified that's what he even underlined so in our minds we're going to the 14th floor you know of the elevator and we're looking and ah Wow, is that English? And we're looking for room 103. Before we were about to leave to go look for our rooms, I saw like another smaller tablet that said that, oh, the hotels are divided into like specific towers. So it said like the rush towers and the spa towers and the whatever towers were the only towers that had microwaves and like fridges and stuff like that. So I, I saw that immediately and I was like, ah, ah. So you mean our own tower, our own room, it doesn't have microwave, it doesn't have fridge. Isn't that standard in hotels? So immediately I was like, oh, like I didn't know like our room didn't have all those amenities, I guess. And he was like, yeah, only those towers have that. And I was like, okay, can we, you know, upgrade? Can we change it? And he was like, oh, you can change it, but there's like a fee. Understandable. He has to check for the availability. So he goes back to his computer, he's checking, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, there's no availability. I was like, hey, so you mean to tell me that I'm going to be here for these few days. Every time I go out and I eat, it's either I finish my food or I eat cold food or I throw the food away because there's no fridge, there's no microwave, there's no nothing. In a hotel, room in 2024 i was so shocked i was shocked i was like wow we've gone backwards in time but i didn't even have time to be shocked because we're literally tired from flying we're tired from you know going through like the uber the heat and we're hungry so i was like oh okay there's no availability let me just go and get used to either finishing my food like getting smaller quantities when we go out and eat or i don't know eating cold food I don't know okay so we're like okay thank you for checking we still have like our bags with us mind you because we just arrived we just checked in we go to where the elevators are located because he was like oh the elevators are by Chick-fil-a so go by Chick-fil-a use the elevators go to the 14th floor we look for room 103 right so we do that so we pass Chick-fil-a eh? we go through the elevators 14th floor we get there we get there and we're now seeing four digits number four digit is it even four digit no, it's five digits. We're seeing five digit numbers, right? Mind you, the guy had told us look for room 103. So we're expecting three digit numbers, but we're seeing 14, 273, 14, 179, all of that stuff. And we're so tight. It's not fully clicking, especially because like the information that he told us was not helpful. It wasn't helpful. Why would he tell us to ignore the 14th floor when you get there and be looking for only room 103? Does it, does it make sense? We're gonna, ah. Me and my friend were looking at each other again. We're like, ah. We don't see room 103 anywhere. We even went, you know, in the hallways, we're peeking, we're like, okay, maybe this five digits, it reduces to four and then three. I don't know how the hotel is set up. This is my first time here. If you are making fun of me in the comments section, God will punish you, eh? But we're literally like, okay, there's no room 103. Let's go back down and ask the, the guy. We go back down. We ran into like these two other girls that were in the front desk when we were checking in with the guy. And we're like, hey, like real quick, if you have a moment, we're wondering, were we at the right floor? Cause we went up to the 14th floor and there's like five digit numbers. Like, do you know anything about that? And the girls were like, no, that that's so weird. They should only be, you know, you should only see your room number, like room 103 and stuff like that. We're like, yeah, but there's like five digits. And they were like, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Just ask the guy again. I was like, okay. Oh. 
everybody they don't know anything about that so we get back in line the line is long oh and each time like i want you all to understand that it's not an easy trek to come from elevator to the front desk like, it's actually a really long distance and imagine like being hungry and doing that imagine being hungry and being confused and having to carry your bag carry your bag drag it everywhere after being on your feet in the in the airport in the baggage claim everything you have to do that so second time now we're back on that line waiting that guy is still there we're like okay the guy that helped us is still there that's good finally our time comes we go up to him we're like hey when we took the elevator to the 14th floor we we saw a chick-fil-a like you said we saw a chick-fil-a we got there and there's five digit numbers are you sure like you gave us the right room like what's going on and he kind of has like a smirk and he's telling us like oh like i don't i don't know there should be like a room 103 like are you sure i was like yeah it was like 14 to 73 14 209 and he's so confused he's like yeah i don't know why that would be he even pulls out a little like hotel map and in their hotel map it says like the he shows us like even rooms with like two digits like a room 85 and a room 103 a room 104 a room you know 210 like all that stuff ah it seems training in this hotel is not correct so because why is the whole front desk confused about how the rooms are situated doesn't make sense so after he's shown us this map like ah, are you guys sure you went to the right room are you guys sure you went to the right floor we're like yes yeah. so we took the elevator we saw the chick-fil-a was so a 14 floor if, if there's another 14 floor that exists tell us now because clearly we're not in the right one and he's basically like his solution was to go back and try again i don't know what we were trying no so finally we went back again eh? but second time you know going back and checking we went to the 14th floor again. Finally, the brain is clicking. We're like, ah. My friend is like, wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me this guy meant 14103. But why did the guy tell us to ignore the 14? Even the map that he showed us only had room 103, only had room 105, only had 85. Like, they don't have, like, the 14 in front of it. But on the rooms itself, it has, like, 14103, 14105. So we're like, what the heck? But we're like, okay, whatever, we've solved it. We, t we go now, we find the room 14103. Tell me why we open this door and the bed is messed up. Like, you can tell, like, housekeeping did not go in clean. You could tell someone was rolling in there, eh? really getting comfortable. Eh? We just immediately took small video because the, the first time that we went, it seemed like we were crazy. It seemed like we didn't know what we were talking about. So you, you people that you don't know your, your room numbers. They're telling us ignore 14, look for only 103. You're showing us room 85. What is room 80? Anyways, I'm gonna put the video up here. I'm gonna, let me, let me, let me make, let me make some space so you people can see the video clearly. So we took a video, all that stuff, went back down. I've been dragging this suitcase, dragging it across from hotel, down, past Chick-fil-A, past the man who scammed me, who's trying to scam us. And mind you, every time we're passing, we have to go through that scam as well. And each time they'll try to talk to us like, are you guys sure you don't like Hilton? Are you guys sure you don't want a vacation home? Are you guys sure? Shut up! Us that were hungry, we haven't eaten. See how my African accent is just coming anyhow? We haven't eaten, we're dragging this bag and you want to go back and ask me if I want to purchase a vacation vacation home you want to make sure that i'm 25 uh, if uh. so we go back we go back down this time like the guy wasn't up there who originally helped us it was another girl and we tell the girl we show her the video like our room is dirty you know like we need a new room and she's like i'm so sorry about that let me get you guys a new room so quick 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 she got us a new room and we asked we asked her hey like our previous room it had like a downtown view which is what we really liked and we asked is this room that you know we booked us with now like a new room does that have a downtown view and she confidently would have full chest she said yes yes it has a downtown view we're like okay no problem Oh, I even forgot to tell you guys. Remember how we had called to find out if the hotel, you know, needed reservations. We were told, oh, just come in, just come in. So on the, the hotel website, in the, inside the, the restaurant's business hours inside the hotel, they close at 11. With this rummaging up and down, up and down, going past Chick-fil-A, coming back down, waiting in line, dragging stuff. It was now like 10, I believe like 10.30 or something like that. And I believe like the second time that we had checked um, for our room and realized that it was dirty. Was it the second? Or th I'm even confused with myself. Whichever time that we went there and we were disappointed again, we decided that, okay, let's place a pickup order. Let's see if they, we can place a pickup order. So we confirmed that. We placed the order when we were coming back down, right? That was the second time actually. 
Yes, it was the second time. Wow, look at that. We placed our order when we were coming back down after we saw like the dirty hotel room that was assigned to us. And then as soon as we placed the order, now, all that nice steak, nice loaded potato. I was ready to, ah, I was ready to, I was ready to spread my legs and eat that night. I now see the notification, your order will be ready for pickup tomorrow at 9 a.m. I said, what? I looked at my friend, I said, ah, why is the pickup time saying 9 a.m.? My friend too, she's laughing at me because she thinks it's only me that made mistake. It's only me that has, has pick up time 9 a.m. She sees her own phone. She's like, wait, like mine says the same thing. We're like, oh my gosh, just another issue we have to go resolve. So that's what also happened when we had saw Dirty Room. Oh, another thing is like the very first check-in that we did, they had these additional fees that we had no clue about. We had to pay like the $50 refundable, like, you know, just in case kind of fee. And then there was an additional like, I think the fee was uh, some additional stupid fee that was like 200 and something dollars. And they said we had to pay that like, I literally, that's another thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't even understand. So now we're hoping, you know, the room situation is solved. We're getting a new room. We'll have downtown view. We're still dragging our baggage uh, around the hotel. We're like, ah. This hotel is about to, no, this restaurant is about to close, so, you know, it's 10, 10 something. And then this pickup time now, why is it saying 9 a.m.? Like, what's going on? So we, we had called, oh, we called them when we were coming back down as well. Like, before we got to the front desk and got, like, the new hotel. Sorry, guys, I'm jumbling up the timeline because there was just so much stuff happening at the same time. So we called them and... We're like, hey, like we just placed an order, but the pickup time says tomorrow at 9 a.m. We told her like we thought your restaurant closed at 11 p.m. And the lady was like, 11 p.m. Like where did you see that? It was like literally your your restaurant hours inside the hotel that we're currently in, and she was like, oh. Oh, now, now it's ringing a bell on my sister. Okay, so she's like, oh, that's because our kitchen closes at uh, at 10. And I was just thinking to myself, first of all, the lady sounded like the same lady that we called oh, around 9.30. And you would think, if your kitchen closes at 10 and it's just a bar that's open after that, if, so, if, if someone calls you at 9.30, would you not advise them like, hey, by the way, our kitchen closes in 30 minutes? Is that, I'm, I'm sorry, is that something that's like... Is that, is that not sensible or am I that's not nah, that's sensible I don't even need you people to tell me that's sensible that's something you tell a customer like by the way our store closes in, in 30 minutes you know it's 9 30 by the way our kitchen closes in 30 minutes so we had to place order before we learned that the kitchen goes at 10 so we're asking her oh can we get a refund then and then she's telling us oh only the, the manager or something can you know process the refund so we would have to come tomorrow she was like i'll leave a note and then we'll also call you in the morning I, ah let me just fast forward i never got a call though but we ended up just eating the food the next day we went to the restaurant the food was good so i'll get there we realized that okay so we're not getting the food that originally planned a lot of you know all the restaurants now they're about to close and then we still have like our you know suitcases with us and then by the time that we would take to go upstairs or go up um, to the elevators and find like our new room it would be too late the restaurants would be closing ah. so we're like you know what we see a restaurant up there it looks like an american restaurant we're like let's just go there and then we're looking at each other like do you think they'll allow us to have a suitcase like i don't know so we're like okay let's just go and try oh my gosh even before ah before we went to um the we approached like the restaurant to go and eat so we're dragging our backs towards the restaurant this random guy like came up to us was asking my friend oh can i get a picture with her like pointing to me my friend is confused like why are you asking me like you can you can go and ask her so he approaches me now and was like can i get a picture with you no i i don't know you what do you mean can you get a picture Ah, uh, when I'm not Beyonce or Rihanna, like, what do you mean? What are you going to do with the picture, sir? Eh? What do you want to do with the picture? Hmm. I don't know that guy from anywhere. I don't know if I see that guy on the streets, I don't know him. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. That was just a little weird situation. So we went towards a restaurant. We were asking like the hostess or whatever, like, hey, like, we wanted to know if it, 
we, if we can sit down and eat and also we have like our suitcases is okay to like put them to the side and she's like well yeah that's fine like come in all that stuff so we're like oh thank god but thank god because like to go up and come back ah it's too late we'll just eat a and and water the food was really good our server was so great i don't know just very personable and kind and just got you know us the correct orders on time made great conversation made us laugh like he was he was great we tipped him really good shout out to him for real we're now well fed, right? In a better mood, even though it was off to a bumpy start, almost got scammed, had a dirty room, had, um, got, had the confusion with the room, all of that. And then some random guy with a picture, you know? But now we've eaten. We now take our little baggage, again, our little suitcases. We go past a little Chick-fil-A. Now we're in floor 10, so we're no longer in 14, or not room 14, we're no longer in level 14 because our room was dirty. Tell me why we literally have a view of a parking garage. Yes, I took another video. Ah! And mind you, the freaking girl at the front desk when we asked her, hey, are we still going to get our downtown view? She confidently, without a doubt, without a hesitation, she could have bet her whole entire family's life on that, that we had a downtown view. She, I know she just gave us like a yes to get, you know, rid of us and stuff. But we're like, are you serious? We've been back and forth. At that point, we just accepted it. We're like, you know what? It is what it is. I guess we're looking at a parking garage. We try to like get used to the idea of like not having a microwave and like a fridge. We be eating. We love eating. One of the best things to do on a trip is to eat, is to eat good food. My friend literally tried to eat like her cold, well, she didn't try. She ate her cold fries and her cold food at the restaurant we went to where we had like our um, suitcases with us i had gotten like these really nice ribs and i didn't finish them and they just went to waste because like there's no microwave there's like nothing i'm not about to eat cold ribs it's not gonna taste good and we were using like our little you know the air conditioner thing like the little box or whatever to like cool like our food like overnight so it wouldn't go bad like that's what we're doing so it would make the food food even colder because we don't want it to go bad and we would try to eat the cold food we were struggling for no reason like how can i be on vacation using air conditioner box to to cool my food overnight like a peasant ha huh. hey you know we try getting used to the idea but mm -mm. i can't do it i'm not in the stone age i can't do it the next day we literally called the hotel because we we're like okay maybe they have like a section you know where there is a microwave like a community type of section where you can go to and warm up your food and they just don't have it in like individual rooms so I called them and I'm like, hey, like, do you guys have a microwave, you know, in some section of the hotel where like, you know, the community can go and warm up the food because like, it's just not making sense. Like you have all these restaurants, so I'm either supposed to finish my food, throw it away or eat cold food. Like those are my options. And then um, they were like, no, like we don't have any microwaves in the building. <laughs> and I was just so perplexed. Wow wow now we're trying to like find other hotels we're like should we just switch hotels we you know have a few restaurants on our list of things to do on like our itinerary the fact that we now had to get used to the idea of like eating cold food or like wasting food or like that just did not sit right with us and like i never thought i would have to consider like oh, my hotel have a fridge will i have a microwave so we're calling other hotels and we figured out that a lot of the hotels like because we were at the strip like the vegas strip so a lot of the hotels either have had like a microwave or a fridge they did not have like both of them and then what we learned was that if you're staying at the sh at the strip and they have res restaurants inside the um, hotel they don't want you to like stay in your room and like go buy snacks and be able to like warm it up and stuff like that no they want you to spend money each day to get fresh fruit to eat new food there's a proper proper scam out here proper scam i have to hand it to them well done well done we realized that okay finding a new hotel is not it's not the best option because it's either or but at the same time we would rather have like a microwave than have a fridge because we're probably gonna finish our food like that day like later on at night we ended up just like let's just you know stay at the hotel we thought about like getting 
a microwave and bringing it back to the hotel but we're like wait what the heck are we gonna do with the microwave like when we're done you know we have to take a flight back home and then when we went to tour area 15 like explore area 15 which is like a exploration type of our uber driver shout out to her you know we were telling her about our issues with the hotel and she was telling us more information yeah you know they do that on purpose so you can like spend more money on food and then we told her like the microwave situation she was like oh like why don't you just return it like light bubble Beep! light bulb is coming out of my head and i'm looking at my friend and we're like ah it seems like we're going to go buy microwave but we literally said it at like the same time so after like area 15 we literally went to walmart took like another uber from area 15 went to walmart bought a microwave i mean allegedly hey please don't arrest me oh. but technically it's not really in the protocols of the hotel room whether you can have microwave or not but we're just going to say we allegedly bought a microwave eh? and we allegedly brought it back to our hotel room and we allegedly maybe perhaps used it maybe not please i don't look good in orange i cannot go to jail so allegedly allegedly for all these things we enjoyed that microwave sweet ah sorry we allegedly enjoyed the microwave well 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 <laughs> I thought I would have more time to like tell you guys about like Frontier and I also have like additional information about like the hotel so I'm just gonna like fast forward to that for the hotel with the microwave we tried to go and return it turns out that their Walmart their customer service closes at like 6 p.m. the store closes at 11 so we were like ah, you closed five hours before really and when we got there we went to customer service place and there was this lady and like uh like, two other workers lady was telling us yeah we closed at 6 p.m. and then we we're like oh like we really did not know and she was acting like <laughs> let me know if it's that with that but she she was like yeah and we're like oh we didn't know we're out of town visiting and then we have like an early flight like there's no way you can like do a return for us and she was like oh what time does your flight leave as if that made a difference we told her our flight she's like yeah like we then why did you ask us if it wasn't going to make a difference why did you ask why did you open your, your, your foolish mouth sorry she probably has children and and and, and all that all that stuff but why did she open her mouth to ask us now if it was not going to change anything so we're literally like running around walmart well not running around that's an exaggeration but we're trying to get rid of this microwave because we don't have a car at first i was like let's just leave it inside the road and we're like let's not do that so we tried to find like people that were leaving walmart like customers to give them the microwave and we probably looked like scammers ourselves because imagine two random women approaching you and telling you oh do you want this microwave there's nothing wrong with it do you want the microwave would you not be weird out but we finally found this one guy that was like heading out we're like hey like do you want this microwave and we're like it's brand new we brought it we bought it like a few days ago and then he's like oh like i don't have cash on me i was like ah sir, take the microwave you don't have to have cash take the microwave and go and he was so shocked he was like really i was like yes here take the microwave it is brand new that's me i was like wow like thank you so much you know all that stuff and he took the microwave and he went so some random guy shout out to him he got a free microwave great condition good for him i hope he really warms up all the food that he wants to warm i don't know where i was going with that yeah for the most part that was our experience with the hotel i thought i would have more time to like tell you guys about like the shittiest airline i've ever been on frontier that one i'm not blurring no name so it's me that should sue them in fact it's me that should come and sue them because how are they still operating bro but i'll just do a part two with frontier airline situation because that was a truly truly horrible and costly situation i would never <clears throat> see how even talking about frontiers making me it's making my throat go somehow i will never ever 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 use frontier again and i don't recommend them at all if you have to use frontier just cancel your trip if there's no other way for you to get from point a to b without using frontier cancel the trip trust me Trust me, I would rather take a bus, a train, a bicycle to get to my destination than to take Frontier again. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick, quick story time. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ah, don't be a hater, nah. Subscribe, like, comment, share, do something. Help, help your sister out, nah. I'm suffering. Ah, wait, I'm not suffering. It's this name. Words are powerful. But yeah. Y'all know what to do and follow me on Instagram as well. Let's stay connected. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.